Using a torque wrench when building a motor is really essential. I mean, it really allows you to keep your quality assurance the same. So basically you know that every bolt in say an intake is the same torque level. Um, and basically torque is a unit of measure uh, that tells you how much force is used to overcome resistance for rotation. So there are three basic types of torque wrenches. There's the beam style, which is kind of the old school style, and which is a lot cheaper, or it's the cheapest version. Um, and that's basically just a just a long breaker bar with like a bar on it that spins, and it tells you on a gauge how much torque you're getting. This is fine for uh, low low importance applications, like if you're just kind of tightening lug nuts or something like that. But this is not precise enough for doing motor work. The most often used is a snap style torque wrench. Basically a ratchet with the spring inside, right? Here's a diagram or here's a picture of one taken apart. You can see the spring compresses and decompresses as you tighten the little round um, gauge finder or whatever. So basically you set your um, torque to what you need based off of the gauge and then you go in one consistent motion and once it snaps then that means that you've reached the desired torque number. And that's probably the most commonly used and is probably is affordable and precise enough for most applications. And then the most precise measurement and a way that's that you can kind of record everything is actually a digital edition, a digital version which has a screen, uh, much like much like this one pictured here, has a screen that tells you the torque readout, and then it can actually record, um, so you can make sure that everything's the same. Um, I've personally never used one of these digital ones; they're a little bit more spendy than I'd like to kind of have sitting around. Um, but each one has its pros and cons. So right here you can see that there's a basic diagram, it has a couple different options. You can go through, um, if you need to look at this, pause the video and then look at the equations. They're pretty simple, basically it's just like you take the uh, original torque wrench and then your extension is kind of, kind of works as a ratio against your leverage. So just take a look at that, it's pretty, pretty easy calculation. One thing to remember about the spin style or the snap style ones is that you have to unspin them and loosen the spring, otherwise you can decalibrate the uh, you can decalibrate the spring in it and soften it because it'll be compressed. Um, most of these do need to be recalibrated if you're doing high precision jobs. Over time you want to bring them in, get them calibrated, or just buy a new one. But really it depends on the application and stuff like that. The longer the torque wrench, the less effort it's going to take because you're working on a lever. So if you say you have a torque wrench, but you have to add like a short extension onto it for some odd reason, say it's in a weird spot or something like that, you're going to have to do a measurement or a calculation to kind of calibrate your torque wrench. So say if you have a 10 inch long torque wrench from the center of the handle to the head and then you add a 2 inch extension onto it um, outwards, keep in mind it has to be straight outwards, otherwise if you have it at an angle it's not quite as far outwards and you're kind of, um, it's, like, it's basically geometry. So you have to calculate and um, figure out how much you're adding to this when you are uh, adding length or whatever. So to do that calculation, um, we looked online and we found one diagram that we were really going based off of. Um, there was really this was the simplest one we could find without all the fancy math and stuff on it. So we followed this and we were scratching our heads, you know, because nothing seemed to work. It didn't. It didn't seem to make sense. I mean, we were getting like, say, we we're trying to get 47 foot-pounds of torque. And this little diagram kept, t kept telling us to set our torque wrench to 7, which just made no sense because that just seemed like, I mean, a 40 pound difference with a 2 inch extension didn't sound right. So we were looking and trying to figure it out, and finally I realized that um, this formula was incorrect. So no, is that, is that actually, yeah, that's got to be... Or divided by 7? Yeah. Because we took the length to... 7.85. So... I think, what, do we decrease it by 7.85? I don't know. That's not how I read it. So this right here sort of shows why you can't believe everything on the internet. So if you look at this formula, you can see that the uh, torque wrench setting, which is what you should set the torque wrench at, is A over L plus A, according to this diagram. Well, if you follow that, basically, so you have A on top, which is the length of the extension, which is going to be, say you add a 2-inch extension, so A on top would be 2 inches. And then you take the length of the wrench from the center of the handle to the drive plus that 2 inches on the bottom. So if you look at that, that's going to be 2 over, say your torque wrench is 10 inches long, that's going to be 2 over 10 plus 2. Well that doesn't make sense because then your torque applied is only going to have to be 1 sixth 
of what it needs to be. So right here I'm going to show you a basic calculation. So for these head bolts, the inside head bolts on this motor, we wanted the torque applied to be 47 pounds, right? So you fill in 47 right here for the torque applied, which is TA. The length of the ratchet was 12 inches from the center of the handle to the head of the the head of the ratchet, right? Okay? So this was 12 again, so 12 was L, right? And then A is the length of the additional uh, ratchet or additional wrench that you're adding on to the end of it, which was two inches in length. Okay? So that's 47 times 12 divided by 14. This comes out to approximately 40. Okay? 40 foot pounds. And that tells us that TW is equal to 40, which is the wrench setting. So we're going to want to set our torque wrench at 40 pounds to get a 47 pound torque applied to the head bolt with our 2 inch extension. This is true because if you have the ratchet like this, right, and then here's the head of it and here's the handle. I'm not a good drawer, but you can kind of imagine, right? So then if you have a 2 inch extension onto this, you have more leverage all the way out here than you did right here. So that means that the torque wrench is not calibrated for that length, so you have to add on, or you have to do this formula to account for the additional two inches of length that you added here because you have more leverage.